Welcome back aboard U8. It's a uh, quarter past one in the morning of April 6th and we have the convoy beam. We are heading 25 degrees more or less parallel to the convoy which you might be able to see uh, in the center of the visual field here on the horizon. Uh, we are traveling at 14 knots uh, overtaking the convoy. Uh, one important uh, change is uh, regards to weather. Uh, thunderstorms ended and the clouds disappeared so visibility has improved a lot uh, which makes it a bit harder for us I presume to approach the convoy. But um, in principle we're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, this time we're going to drop into the convoy a little bit uh, further to the west as uh, our intentions are to attack the western column of this of the two central columns with the other tanker and the troop transport. Uh, torps have been reloaded, the uh, majority of the crew is resting and we're just uh, uh, powering ahead for for our um, attacking position. I'll be back once I have an update. It's two o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm turning back out again as we are being approached by one of the escorts. Even my crew noticed Yeah, he's here. He's about 8,000 meters away towards the rear of the convoy. And I think uh, we got close because I actually ordered a course change. Instead of running parallel to the convoy at 22 degrees, I um, turned north once. I went on a, on a heading directly north once uh, we passed the lead ship. I wanted to get into an attacking position faster but um, it seems that this way we have brought ourselves a bit too close to to the escorts but I have no reason to think they have picked us up so I've, uh, we're turning out again I'll just continue So we're turning in, uh, as we have put about a distance of about 12 kilometers between us and the convoy. So now we're just uh, turning in and put ourselves in the center of the convoy. And once we get there, we'll um, orient the boat in such a way that we'll uh, drop into the convoy between the westernmost and the uh, second westernmost uh, column of the convoy and then we'll perform the same maneuver as we did last time just mirrored and uh, hopefully we'll soon be able to identify that the target ships um, from the previous in insertion we uh, know that there is a another tanker and the troop transport and a couple of other high value targets so um, we'll uh, try to get these this time and I'll talk to you in a bit. So we're just about to get an AOB of zero degrees with the easternmost column that you can see here in the binoculars. Uh, you can see the west, the eastern escorts here. Uh, you can see the eastern, the eastern column of the center columns with only two ships. 
uh, of which uh, of that column we sank the previous two targets and now our targets are here, the second and third ship in the, in the western uh, central column and then here uh, the three, these, these, and there is an escort at the back and then there are three ships in the westernmost column and then there are two escorts over here one is here and one is over there I think we have a let's switch over to the Uzo Jawohl, Herr let's drop some speed Ein Drittel fahrt voraus Um this is two fifty eight. So two fifty eight is uh, hundred and sixty two degrees to port. Oh, sorry, uh, that's 102 degrees. 102 degrees for easternmost column. That's pretty much the 400 meters that we estimated as a distance. So the western column would be here need to go about uh, well, first of all we have to slow down so we need to go about 800 meters further okay and then on this bearing We'll head 22 degrees, but slowly, and we'll soon submerge in order to uh, not get detected. And I will be back with you as soon as I have an update. So we have an AOB of zero degrees, pretty much with the westernmost column. Um, the wind is completely dead, so we have to be careful, really, because there are no waves, no clouds, there is nothing protecting us. Um, and I have missed, like I, I have uh, lost the uh, the second escort here on on the western side, I assume he's behind the westernmost column somewhere, but um, he used to be over here somewhere, but right now I can't find him anymore. Uh, this is a good opportunity to go under and uh, do a little hydrophone check, and then we'll uh, slow down and let the convoy catch up with us. So let's actually go to the periscope tip. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin, Seerohrtiefe. Auf der Aufstation! I like to uh, dive and surface at full speed because it just goes it just takes less time. We can always slow down once we are submerged. And we are already uh, on the convoy's heading, so we should be golden. Derzeitige Tiefe 1 0. 
Jawohl, Herr Kaloid, ein Drittel fahrt voraus. Alright, so. Um, with the wind this uh, slow, or actually it's non-existent, I, I got a weather report about an hour ago. I think it's at zero meters per second, we have to be extremely... Yeah, zero meters. We have to be extremely careful, uh, the tiniest of splashes will be visible to the destroyer crews. Now let's go uh, to the hydrophone quickly. The thing is, uh, they're obviously now all in our just in the sound shadow of our own propeller, but it's a uh, it's a good thing. We haven't missed anybody uh, to our front and to our sides. All right, um, I'll be back once I am in an attacking position inside the convoy. Okay, uh, we have completed the turn, and as soon as I'm, I have assured that. We are clear from the westernmost column. I will order to slow down. Yep, I think we're good. I didn't mean to stop. I mean, one knot. Okay, now we have to ready. Steam. Tanker and the troop transport are what we are interested in. Eight point. Okay, so uh, we will shoot when he's 20 degrees to port. So we will have 110 degrees between the stern and our bearing or a hundred yeah that, that should be the AOB 70 degrees to complete the sum um, the speed is Unchanged six knots. We'll set for ten meters magnetic fast. And for the tanker. A 
we're gonna pass behind us. It's the bearing of the troop transport. Fifty five. Let's set up the tanker. Not sure whether it's a standard or a large tanker, but I think either way with about 12 meters we should be fine. We'll also go magnetic. And we'll go seven and a half degrees. Oh, I see. We have to adjust the depth after the after firing. Now I think we can back up. Check our settings again. 10 meters, magnetic fast, salvo, spread of seven and a half. This is again. Oh, hold on. Our settings have to be adjusted for 340. Not 20. So we are on a perpendicular course. Um, Twenty degrees plus ninety gives us a hundred and ten, yes. So that means the AOB from the back is seventy. One hundred and eighty minus seventy gives us a hundred and ten. This should be correct. Uh, the distance Yeah, five hundred meters sounds. It's Let's, let's put it to 600 meters, just to be safe. Always trying to make sure that we don't back into. Okay, I think 
We are ready. Let's open the tubes. I think we have a hit on the troop transport. Um, for the tanker. Go 12 meters. Seems correct. Open the tubes. And go. Troop transport is already going under. And we will get a cinematic view. In the first hit. In the second hit. And it breaks. She breaks down in the middle. We'll move forward. And uh, we have the oil burning on the surface from the tanker. Let's go deep. We'll head straight out.
Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Apparently, you're on to us. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Let's make sure we get uh, deep. And then we'll slow down and go to silent running again. And uh, now it's about, it's all about shaking them off. Well, not really, given the limited speed that we have. But um, we try to hide. I think we should be all right. We're st still inside the convoy. That's not good, that's from the side. They can uh, echo find us easily from the side. Easier to avoid them from from the front. Still to our side. I don't think it's a good sign when they stop pinging. But he's not running, so... I 
Uh, he's passing behind us. Let's go deeper. And let's go north right. Uh, they sounded not too close. I think we'll be fine. I don't think they really know where we are. We'll just keep silent and wait it out. I'll be back when uh, anything of interest happens.